Hey guys, we're here for day 16. We're gonna do math and language arts together. Um, first thing it says on page 33 is to draw a line through the word that does not belong in each sentence. The best way to solve that is simply say the sentence out loud. So the first sentence, number one, all of the butterflies will be gone went by October. What does it make sense there? So all of the butterflies will be gone went Let's see if we can get rid of went and see if that sentence makes sense. All of the butterflies will be gone by October. Does that make sense? It does. But what if I say all of the butterflies will be went by October? Does that make sense? No. So we're going to cross out went. Cross out went. That doesn't make any sense. So you're going to do that for those sentences. Next thing we're going to look at is... Um, the next activity is, in each problem, change a fraction with a denominator of 10 to an equal fraction with a denominator of 100. So you're going to make the 10 into 100. Let's see where I did that? Here it is. Um, you're going to make that. So every problem has a 10 in it. What can I do to make that 10 into 100? Can I add subtract, multiply, or divide? Well, we can multiply 10 times 10 to equal 100. Whatever we do to our denominator, we need to do to our numerator, which we've talked about that too when we were making them the same. So whenever we, we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. So I'm gonna multiply this 10 by 10, which means I've gotta multiply that two by 10. So, Instead, I have 20 over 100 plus 5 over 100. Now the denominators are the same, so I can add or subtract them. So 20 plus 5 over 100. That's how we're going to do it. You're just going to add across. So 20 plus 5 equals 25 over 100. So that is how we do that for the answer there. Same thing here. You would do, I need to make them the same. So 3 tenths and 25 over 100. I need to make this 10 turn into 100. So I'm going to multiply that again by 10. Whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the numerator. So equals 30 over 100 plus 25 over 100. Remember, you're just doing... Boy, does not like fractions right now, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we're going to add across. 30 plus 25 equals 55 over 100. That denominator does not change. But we also can't add them or subtract them until they are the same. So that's for page 33. Next, we're going to go to the adding, subtracting that you're going to do for 18 through 25. Again, we've done this quite a few times. I'm going to just do a quick ungrouping example. All right, so 7,548 minus 3,762. Always start in our ones. Eight minus two equals six. Four minus six, take, four, take six from that. Okay, six, nope, can't do it. So I'm gonna have to ungroup that five, make it a four. I'm gonna have to make this a 14. 14 minus six equals eight. Four minus seven, take seven from that. Can't do it, you need to ungroup that seven, make it a six. We're gonna make this a 14. 14 minus seven equals seven. Six minus three equals three. So it's just a quick ungrouping example. Excuse my nails, bit them right off. All right, so now we're going to look at the last part, which is comparing the decimals in each pair. Use the greater than, less than, or equal symbols. These are decimals. Remember, you're going to start in our tenths spot. So this is our tenths, our hundredths. And if you have another one, it's the thousands, which we do not hear. So it's just tenths and hundreds. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. So, <coughs> yikes, sorry. 
Okay, so best way to do it, to figure it out first, is we start by saying the words of what the decimal is. So two and, remember if there's a decimal point, we say and, two and 37 hundredths or 37 hundredths, which is more. Well, the decimals are the same, but that two means that it's more. Remember we said, you want to do, you can make an alligator mouth, but that alligator is going to want to eat the bigger number. So now let's look here. We're going to look at our tenths position, which is a zero here and an eight here. This is eight hundredths, so that's eight out of a hundred pieces. Or we have 80 hundredths, which is more, 8 out of 100 or 80 out of 100? It is 80 out of 100. Again, you're going to want to eat the bigger number. Say it out loud. How many pieces out of that hundred or thousandth would you do? All right, that's it for day 16.